Hello and welcome to this video series on how to use the UBS accounting software. I'm Jero from Proactive Infotech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new company. Okay, I've installed the UBS accounting software and this is the icon. Let's double click on the icon to start the program and we are at the select company page. Here we we have to create a new company name and a new directory for the new company. Click add to add a new company and a new directory. Let's type ABC company as a new company and ABC for the new directory. Click save and see that new company and the new directory has been created. Click cancel and click select. Generate data files. This will generate files to store the accounting data for the new company. Click OK. Are you sure? Yes. And OK. And we are at the sign in page. We have to type in the password. The default password is UBS. Let's type in now. Click sign in and we are the setup wizard. We do not want to set up a company here, so just click cancel and we are at the main page. To set up the company, go to housekeeping, setup, general setup. Click and we are at the general setup page. Let's type in the company name and address. Okay, it's very important to maintain the accounting year. The, let's say we want to set it from 1st January 2010 to 31st December 2010. We can't type in the dates here as it has been blocked. To do so, we have to fill in the last accounting year closing date. In our case, it will be 2009. As you can see, when we type in 2009, then this accounting year has changed to 2010. Starting period. This is the period when one starts using the UBS accounting software. Let's say we start use, using it from 1st January 2010, then the starting period is 1 for January. Closing period. This refers to the number of period the company has. Normally it is 12. Okay, we have finished setup. Just click OK and it's done. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website www.iproactive.com or join our forum at www.ubstraining.com/forum.